Creative friends, happy new year to you all. So this is our very first video for the year and I'm starting the year with showing you five Corel Draw tips and tricks to help speed up your workflow and boost your productivity while working with Corel Draw. So I'll be doing this with Corel Draw 2022 and it's for Windows PC users. So with that being said, let's jump to the first one. Whenever you have a design like this and you want to select multiple objects in Corel Draw, you know the normal way people do that is to click and drag to select multiple objects in your artwork. But then if you want to select this object and maybe there are a lot of things here that can be distracting, maybe you want to select this particular part of your design. So all you're going to do is to hold alt and highlight the particular object you want to select. Let's say we want to select this particular object and that's it. So whatever your pick tool encloses, it's going to select that particular object by just holding alt and selecting that particular object then you leave now you have to be very careful about this because most people may likely make mistakes with this you hold alt first click and drag and highlight the particular object you want to select and then leave your alt key and then leave your mouse to be able to highlight that particular object same thing applies to if i want to select my i'll hold alt and then click and drag leave my alt key and leave my mouse to be able to select that so you can do that with any multiple object you want to select on your artwork this next one will help you save a lot of time while working with corel draw you know while designing with corel draw you always want to zoom in and out to a lot of things so these are possible shortcuts you can always use to boost your productivity so you notice with your mouse wheel you can zoom in and out by just rolling your mouse wheel you can zoom in and out in Corel Draw, but you can change the particular function of that mouse wheel if you want it to if you want to substitute it to maybe scroll this is what you're going to do so to change that you're going to go to tools you go to option and you click on Corel Draw. the shortcut to that is ctrl j then when it opens up you go to where you have display and then you go to where you have zoom so you can change this zoom to scroll and then while you do that you're going to click on ok so instead of zooming in and out while you scroll your mouse wheel you're going to have something like this if you scroll down or you scroll up this is what you get and if you hold alt you can scroll in and out you get so you substitute the mouse wheel to scrolling up or down and while you hold alt you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel just like that then if you want to scroll to left or right you hold shift and then scroll down to go to the left scroll up to go to the right and that's simple and you can even achieve same by leaving it at default let's see how it looks like tools option corel draw then change this to zoom and then hit on ok so if you use your mouse wheel to scroll in zoom out zoom in and zoom out you can use alt to scroll up or down and then you use shift to scroll to the sides and that's it so whichever one works for you use it efficiently if you hit on z on your keyboard it activates the zoom tool and if you and if you left click it zooms in the more you click it zooms in and if you right click it zooms out the more you right click it zooms out so let's say i want to zoom into where i have this eye i'll just click on the eye i'll keep clicking on the eye till i get to that point and then you can right click to zoom out whichever one works for you perfect but you can actually zoom in quickly without activating the zoom tool and that is by pressing f2 on your keyboard f2 to zoom in very quickly you know just press f2 and then click when you press f2 you click and that's without activating the zoom tool and f3 is to zoom out okay f2 to zoom in f3 is to zoom out as simple as that f2 zoom in while f3 and that's it if you want to zoom to one or more selected object this is what you're going to do click on a particular object you want to zoom to select that and then press shift f2 it will zoom to that particular object then to zoom to all objects on your art board you're going to press f4 to zoom to all objects on your artboard or you can simply double click on the zoom tool as simple as that you see that you double click on the zoom tool 
or you press F4, whichever one works for you. Perfect. This next one will help you work efficiently. So this is it. Let's say you want to adjust this object inside this power clip. You, instead of going to the long cut by clicking on edit and all this stuff, or right clicking and editing power clip, you can simply click on the particular shape you want to edit the power clip. Press control and click on that shape to open that power clip. Then you can adjust whatever you want to adjust. And when you are done, you press control and click on the empty space. And then that's it. That's just how to do that. Then at the same time, if you don't want to open up inside the power clip to edit, you can edit whatever you want to edit outside the power clip. And this is it. Hold alt and click. And once you do that, you are going to select the particular object inside the power clip. And then you can make your adjustments without opening the power clip. As simple as that. If you have multiple objects on your artboard and you want to select all the objects instead of selecting them one by one, you can press Ctrl A on your keyboard and then you will be able to select all the objects. Or you can simply double click on the pick tool to select all the objects and then do whatever you want to do with it. And lastly, you guys know that Corel Draw sometimes can misbehave and maybe someone that does not really know much about Corel Draw will just pick up your PC and start doing a lot of things. And when you come back to work with Corel Draw, you discover that a lot of things are not in place. Maybe the tools will disappear. I believe you are used to this particular issue that occurs that your tools will not be well arranged like the way it was when you first installed Corel Draw. So when you are in this situation where things are not well arranged the way it's supposed to be, you don't have to panic. This is what you're going to do. All what you're going to do is to return to your default workspace. That is, we want to reset Corel Draw to be the way it was. To be able to do this, you have to close Corel Draw. So to reset Corel Draw, you're going to hold on F8 and then you're going to double click on the Corel Draw icon to launch it while holding on F8. And it's going to bring up this pop up. Then you're going to see, are you sure you want to overwrite the current workspace with the factory default? And then if that's what you want, you click on yes and it's going to reset or if you click on no it's not going to reset so you click on yes to reset and while when Corel draw opens up everything will re restore to default so to be on the safe side so you won't lose your settings and customizations this is what you're going to do go to tools go to option and go to workspaces and what you're going to do is to select the particular workspace you don't want to lose the settings and customization and click on export then choose the location you want to export to and that's it then if you want to bring back that particular workspace you click on import and bring it back and then that's how to restore your particular settings and customizations so that's it thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much for always watching my videos even throughout 2023 you guys have been watching sharing liking and commenting I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. Trust me, I don't take all this for granted. I love you guys so much. And to learn more about Corel Draw, click on this playlist and keep watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.